Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about chat GPT with product research. Let me just show you. So y'all absolutely loved my last chat GPT video as I knew you would. I knew you liked AI, you AI lover. And so I figured today, instead of doing like chat GPT does the product research, what if we just quickly got like 200 ideas from Helium 10, product research, black box, and then gave them all to ChatGPT to analyze based on the criteria that we determined brand moves. So let's try this out. I, I have not done this yet. I thought of today's video. I was like, that'll be fun. Let's do it. So I'm here in black box by Helium 10. And then we're in the keywords tab, not products, keywords. And then um, there's a link in the description for 20% off uh, six months of the software or 10% off for life. Either way, got you. Um, also a great way to support the channel affiliate commissions. So uh, search volume that I'm going to be using is 10,000. Let's go there. I'm going to go there, people. But I'm going to do like 18,000 max. Okay, so we're just going to be looking in an actually relatively tight zone. And then monthly revenue, let's go 20,000 to 35,000. Okay, on average, price, we're going to do 12 to 36. So that way we get the, there we go 35. We're going to select some categories here. I'm going to select all and then I'm just going to unselect the ones that I don't want. Screw it. Books, CDs and vinyl can come off. Or you know what? Let's leave it on. I'm in, I'm in, I'm on team. Leave it on today. Uh, we'll, we'll leave a lot of this stuff on. We'll just see, because theoretically what we're doing next should, they should be able to limit this stuff down anyway. Get rid of the obvious ones. Okay. 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 I just watched The Office last night. Michael Scott. Okay. 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 So we've got 200 keyword results. Normally, like an idiot, I'd be scrolling through here one at a time killing my finger. I don't want to do that today. Let's just hit export on this. Download to CSV right here. You can click this little blue guy. And now we've got it. I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to upload a file. Okay, let's do this. So I uploaded that data sheet. We're going to do this. I just uploaded a list of 200 Amazon FBA customer search terms. I am trying to find a product to sell on Amazon. My criteria is as follows enthusiast customer evergreen market repeat purchases problem to solve customer that will pay for a better solution can you show me the 10 best products search terms that map that criteria okay so we got like a first response i'll prioritize the search term based on the following criteria all right let's see what we got <laughs> this is pretty cool i like this so makes handling big files with a lot of data really simple. And uh, we don't have to scroll through like an idiot doing that all day. No, we can just do this. Why is Honey Nut Cheerios on there? <laughs> okay, so let's start with these. So we have Tegaderm, Waterproof Bandages, um, Shampoo and Conditioner, Salmon, Honey Nut Cheerios, Mr. Clean, Ranch Seasoning Powder, Dissolve Carpet Cleaner, Cooling Racks for baking, uh, cooking and baking, Mylocon, Infant Gas Relief, Dye Free, and Tom's Deodorant. Okay, so I actually don't like quite a few of these. I'm gonna ask it to try again. We'll do, can you try again? This time, only show me search terms that don't contain brand names where the markets are low competition. I demand analyzing. Beep, beep, boop, doo, 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 beep. So I will, I will say if there was one complaint I have is that it doesn't make robot noises when you're um, loading something. Carbonara Bulldog Noodles. It's making me want to come back in here and like actually be more aggressive with my edits. Maybe it'll have an easier time um, going through the, what if we went to four word count too, like longer tail. Okay, we're trying it again. I, I just keep getting like big name brand stuff. Okay, I've uploaded a new spreadsheet and I said, can you analyze this data sheet for customer searches where the customer is an enthusiast and the market is likely to be outdated? Let's see what happens there. I'm just really feeling it out. I'm just playing around, seeing what we can get out of this. Stopped analyzing. Why didn't it tell you to, hey, come on now. All right, regenerate. Okay, here we go. Get, okay, now we're getting somewhere. This is more along the lines of the search terms I was, I wanted to be seeing from the beginning. Hmm, there's a better response. I will rate you better. Thank you. I wonder if we did this. Can you show me 10 products from the spreadsheet that I can source from the US? or less than $5,000. Am I asking too much here? Okay, this is interesting. So what it what it's doing is trying to be slick. It's just showing me less expensive products, which is true, but I'd be able to source them for less than $5,000. Seems to be clinging more onto that. Um, things that are easily kind of like printed 
as well, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's latching onto the initial investment cost more so. I, I asked for too much there. Should just said just source from the US. Okay, let's try this. Can you show me 10 ideas where the customer would be susceptible to better marketing and package design? Okay, it started giving me some ideas, but a lot of them were ones we've already seen before. So I just said, don't repeat any idea you've already used. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, there are some good private label product ideas here, but I'm going more for a well-branded product. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to find a market where a customer wants to buy from me and I could give them some like reason, some proprietary solution to this problem. A lot of these aren't really problems, so to say. I have an interesting idea. I'm gonna say this time, can you try it again? 10 more new ideas where there is room for a new disruptive brand. And this time, each idea list out how you would add value to the mark capture sales. So we're essentially asking for a new list of ideas along with a list of differentiations for each idea that it puts forward. Okay, what do we have here? Papaya reusable paper towel. That sounds like a brand name, but we'll check it out. Okay, almond oil for skin. Now we're talking. Launch a range of organic cold pressed almond oils combined with other beneficial oils aimed at different skin types and conditions. That's really interesting. Um, bleach for hair. Introduce a gentle formula with natural ingredients. Apple slicer and core, more of a private label product. Um, Robitussin, that would be tough. <laughs> um, copper fit knee sleeve, after Dan's freestyle. Magnetic, okay. So I'm really interested in the reusable paper towels and the almond oil skin. Not so much the paper towels actually, but this almond oil for skin, let's check this out. Okay, what do we see when we land here? Well, we see a pretty old boring market. I don't necessarily see anything that looks, nothing stands off the page, put it that way, right? It all just looks like oil. So. I think grabbing people's attention here, relatively easy. L'Occitane, so there is this mm, really nice, you know, French brand here doing stuff. I wonder where their product is down here. Oh, yep, there we go. They're doing really well. Wow, $52 and they had a thousand units in sales. Then it almost looks like there's this, maybe for like soap makers, this huge bulk one. This is 32 ounces. This is a massive amount. Oh, it's massage oil, okay, interesting. So maybe there is this whole other side of the market that is for like masseuses. Um, and we're not targeting the kind of single personal size, we're going for this big bulk one. That's interesting. So let's just click up here and the Helium 10 will actually fill in the blanks for us. So we can see what the longer tail search terms are right away. Get the 10,000 for the one we're on. Sweet almond oil for skin is 6,400. Almond oil for face has a thousand. And let's just do almond oil without four skin because that'll open up more potential options. We have four hair has 5,000. The gallon has 300 searches on its own. Then my mind just starts going to how do I get people's attention here with my branding? And what else do I add to this almond oil for whoever it's being used for to, or not add, where do I source it from? How do I create a story around this specific almond oil and why it's different? They are mad scientists with greasy hair um, working too late today. But I know some of this like might shock some of you, but this really is the kind of market that interests me and gets my head spinning. I would dig deeper into who's buying this. Obviously people are interested in skincare, but what's the story here? How do we create like, this one does 10,000 units per month. I think people often underestimate, overestimate. They don't understand how easy it is to actually just grab attention and tell a great story. Like if, if that's your superpower, you're, you can make money online with a physical product. Um, you just have to really know how to package a great offer and understand who it's for. So let's work our way backwards we had three ideas that we found but let's go check out the ranch seasoning okay so there's like literally hidden valley um there's mccormick actually all kinds of stuff really ranch this is kind of like a smaller brand doing their thing and then there's a trader joe's hmm okay yeah interesting now we're starting to get into an area where people would be really picky right how do you make this the best that it could be yeah, and gated in food. It's not the easiest mark in the world. It doesn't always have to be the easiest thing to do. But there's some pretty big companies here serving some good old American folks. So I don't know if that's the right market for us. Ooh, I thought of a good idea. Can you come up with a list of target customers and then as many searches from the spreadsheet? Do can you sort the searches on the spreadsheet I last uploaded into as many enthusiast customers demographics as needed who would make those searches? Can you sort the searches on the spreadsheet I last uploaded into enthusiast customer demographics who would make those searches and list the products they would buy under. Okay, so now it's sorting them into the enthusiasts. It's a good example. Okay, this is what I was trying to explain. Like these products are kind of like there's not an enthusiast customer there. Even the 
AI agrees. I know you love AI. The AI agrees with me, right? It's like general merchandise. There's not really someone there to solve for. Health and wellness enthusiasts, okay. Home improvement enthusiasts, outdoor and gardening enthusiasts. So now it's actually taking a bunch of different ideas and just grouping them really quickly into five general demographics. Outdoor and gardening tends to be my jam where I make my living. And so let's see, um, chicken feeder and water, water or set. Punching bag for kids. Yes. Honey nut Cheerios. Why is that in outdoor and gardening? Let's check out the punching bag for kids. Okay. How do we take the less is more approach here? Clearly parents think this is hilarious. That's less. Let's just make a damn dinosaur with boxing gloves. No other items needed. This is a pretty monster market. Uh, it's going to be pretty tough to stand out here. That's why I was like, you have to, you got to. I think you got to go less is more because people are going to be overstimulated here. There's a lot going on. It's a lot of bundles, a lot of kits. Whenever I see that, I go the other direction. Just like one thing that stands out of the page. The chicken feeder and water were set. Okay. It's pretty much just, um, well, they're selling a lot. Bam. 42,000, 64,000. Be awesome. It is just crazy how much freaking opportunity there is out there. And it's this thing. It's a damn bucket. It's a bucket. They make 60 grand a month. So I'm gonna leave you with this question. What would you do here to make yourself the obvious choice? And now take that question and bring it everywhere with you. Like just how do I become the clear choice here? Do the most, the highest majority of people think I'm the clear choice in this market? As you can see, almost everywhere we go, there's money to be made on Amazon. There's customers to be stole, 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 there's customers to steal from competitors. Um, it's just wild, man. I, I can't believe, uh, yeah, it's just everywhere I turn. I, and it just gets more and more fun. The more tools we get, you know, getting assisted by AI and playing around with that, it's all fun and games, right? There, there's more constructive and less constructive stuff I've done. We didn't find like the perfect flow today with AI, but we're, we're just having fun with it. You know, I'm relatively new to using it. And let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for how, how it might be fun to use AI with Amazon FBA. Every time I have an idea, I'm just like, let's just go for it. Let's see what happens if we do this. But anyway, thanks for sticking around with me. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later.